Hi, this is Dave from newagainvintageshop.etsy.com. If you're looking for the Seth Thomas mechanical clock, you found it, you've seen it on my site, you're here to listen to it, or you just stumbled across it. But I have a antique Seth Thomas vintage clock. I've dated it between 1843 and 1913. I can't get more specific than that. I've uh, listed some websites uh, on my Etsy site. But once you receive the clock, uh, you will have to resynchronize it. So that's part of this video as well. So in order to do that, according to the instructions I'm including, but they may not be straightforward, as the instruction says, you move the clock to the 11 o'clock position and wait till you hear the spring release. There, the spring is released. Then you move the hour hand to the 12 o'clock position. Then you turn the big hand to the 9 o'clock position. You'll hear it release the spring between the 9 and the 10. And then you bring it back up to the 12 and listen how many times it chimes. Seven chimes. So it's out of sync from 12 o'clock. So to get it to chime in synchronization to the 12, you have to repeat that a few times, uh, six more times before it's synchronized. So again, you go back, come up, it's gonna go once. From there, you go back and do it again, and it should chime seven times. Oh, I was wrong. Miscounted eight. So again, go back one. Come up, let it chime once. Go back to the nine. Let it come up and cycle through again. Nine chimes. So you can skip ahead in the video because you're going to have to repeat this until you reach 12 chimes. So I'm going to continue on. Once. Go back down. And listen for the chimes. couple more times. Let it go once. Back and cycle through. One more time. Should go twelve times. Three. Okay, now you're good to go. So you turn the big hand slowly, stop, let it chime at the bottom of the hour. 
slowly cycle it all the way through to your correct time. Unfortunately, my local time here now is uh, 6 o'clock. So I'm going to have to go slowly. Let it chime through its cycle each time or else it will become unsynchronized again. So again, skip ahead in the video. I'm going to continue this. Till 6 o'clock, then I'll have it set for my local time. See, once you set it, it chimes in sequence perfectly. But as soon as you stop it, which of course it will be if it's shipped out, it'll be stopped, so it'll have to be resynchronized. Five. There we go. Almost there. That's it, it's set for my time, local time. Key to wind the chime and the clock. Original key. And the mechanism, pendulum. All right, thanks for coming. Don't forget, go visit my site, newagainvintageshop.etsy.com.